and welcome back to the channel on this video as I try to beat the thunderstorms that we're about to have here uh, I want to talk about class 1 uh, e-bikes and so this bike here is class 3 but I can ride it in class 1 as I'm demonstrating right now so basically class 1 is an electric bike that does not have a throttle. This has a throttle, but I'm not going to touch the throttle on this ride. And <clears throat> so it's no throttle and the bike has a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour, which we're not quite up to right now. We're at 15.5. And class one I think it's probably a lesser popular bike, although I shouldn't say that because there are people that may differ, but I think the most common that I see is usually the, is usually the uh, class two. Class two is the most common. So that gets you uh, pedaling. How you doing? So that has you pedaling or throttling, whereas class one, you strictly pedal. So I just want to uh, do a demonstration of just pedaling and what it would be like to own a class one uh, bike. I personally would not choose class one because I like having the throttle there for many reasons. And a few of the big reasons would be, first of all, first thing that comes to mind is getting through intersection as I feel some raindrops, getting through the intersection as quickly as possible, especially a busy intersection. I want to be able to keep up with cars and be able to get through there as soon as possible. I don't want to be lollygagging in the intersection at all. So, and then the other thing is to start you from a stop. It's a lot nicer to be able to have the bike throttle there to help you to get started. And it gives you that little start off because it's a little hard to get started in the pedaling and here comes the rain. I haven't ridden in the rain in a while and I'm not equipped for the rain. I just thought I'd do a quick video talking about pedal assist one of these uh, Raindrops are gigantic. Wow. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> as I get soaked, anyway, so that's what I wanted to talk about pedal assist, or I wanted to talk about now it's got me discombobulated this rain. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk about. Get my bell all wet here. Oh, I heard thunder. Well, this is going to be a short ride because I don't want to be out in a thunderstorm. Struck by lightning is not in my uh, plans. But anyway, class one is what we've been talking about and what I'm doing right now. Strictly throttling only, or uh, strictly pedaling only, not throttling. So let me know if you have a preference. My preference of bike is class three because I want to be able to go 28 miles per hour. Maybe you don't always go 28 miles per hour, but it's there if you want to and need to. And then uh, I like the throttle personally. I like to have the throttle as a, um, an assistance uh, for uh, starts uh, from stops or getting through intersections and also if you get a leg cramp, for example, it's a lot easier to just have your leg rest while the throttle does the work. And you don't have to deal with the pain any more than you've already got. All right, that's gonna do it for this video as I'm not equipped to, to be riding in the rain this time around. I'm just in a t-shirt. So hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. 
And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. Also, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And I wanted to wait for a second to let you hear some of that thunder. Hopefully you picked that up. And anyway, uh, the other thing is, if you want to comment on this or any other video, what's your preference of um, class one, class two, or class three, or beyond class three? And uh, why do you choose uh, your? Why is your choice what it is? So once again, thank you for joining me on this video, and I better get in under this thunderstorm. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.